In terms of the timing of the announcement by JTC on 16th of February, um, can the minister provide an explanation on that timeline when the discovery of uh, the erroneous clearance was in was on the 13th of January? And it would seem the announcement came after a, a member of the public and a private citizen first shared about this um, on social media. The second question is to just um, uh, pay recognition to the fact that this land is ultimately um, for every technology. And so um, does the minister have any assessment of whether the deliverance of this uh, capacity and industrial development will be delayed as a result of this um, incident? Thank you. Mr. Speaker, sir, to the first answer to the first supplementary question, error was discovered on the 13th of January and immediately the stop work order was given to the contractor on the ground. Internal investigations within JTC commenced at any point in time uh, and all the way, and sorry, let me say that again, investigations commenced immediately within JTC. We made the information public in February, on the 16th of February, as Mr. C.L. Chen said, because there was public interest in this. As a general rule as to when we make investigations public, a few considerations will have to be taken into account. First, will it affect the nature of the, investig the cost of the investigations? Will it prejudice the cost of the investigations? Number two, will the nature of the incident and which aspect of it will be of public interest. I think our focus from January to February within JTC was to make sure that they can conduct the investigation thoroughly and fairly without prejudice to the party's concern. And we can all understand that once things come out to the public, certain evidence or certain investigations might be prejudiced. So that is why we have not made public earlier the investigations. But when the, there was public interest in this, we were also careful to make sure that we come up quickly with the facts that we have established so that the public do not need to speculate so that we can proceed with the investigations. On the second point as to whether there will be a delay in the execution of the projects, there will already be a delay in the execution of the project because of COVID-19. Now, we will complete the, EMM, the EMMP study and then we will consult the necessary stakeholders and then we will try to progress the projects as originally planned in order to deliver not just the economic benefits, the jobs, the food resilience, but also to deliver as part of the master plan the environmental enhancement in the area that will allow us to enjoy the place, live in the place, work in the place and play in the place. Thank you. Ultimately, at the end of the day, at the heart of it all, no matter how many rules we have for all the agencies, for all the parties involved, ultimately, at the heart of it, we need people with the right values. And I, speak, I say this particularly for the public service. People with the right values who are conscious of their duties, determined to execute it well, and constantly find areas to improve when the need arise. I have every confidence that I have such a public service in service of Singapore. If we look at how the public service has done over the last one year, through the COVID, everyone, not only doing what they're supposed to do, but going above and beyond their call of duty when called upon to do well for Singapore. I have confidence that they will look at this thoroughly, learn the lessons and improve. Because when I speak to the officers in JTC and NPARCS, and when I look at them in the eye, I know, I have see in their eyes, the fire in their belly, that they want to put this right. I am sure that even if I have not tasked them to do so, they themselves would want to get it right and improve. And this is the kind of public service that has brought Singapore to where it is today. This is the kind of public service that we can entrust our future together. And I thank members of the House and the public for your support of our public service to keep doing what they have been doing for Singapore and to keep improving.